Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Um, today I, I'm really happy to, to show you my alocasias. I've been gathering them up a little bit here and there over this last year and I've got quite a few to show you. And I want to let you know something, that these plants are quite amazing and some of them have some special stories, so I'm going to enjoy telling you these. first one I want to talk to you about is one that perhaps you've seen quite a few times now. You've gone off to your garden centres and what have you. This one is Alocasia Sabrina. She's very, very pretty. And she's called Sabrina because obviously there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> zebra-like lines going down here. And I'm sure that you've all seen her before. And here are her beautiful, beautiful arrowhead leaves. Aren't they lovely? And she comes from the Philippines, from multiple islands in the Philippines. And um, she grows in the wild. She's um, a species. She is seen to be rare. Um, being a species, it means that she grows in the wild. And um, isn't that just lovely? To think that you can have something like this in your own home and she they grow on the um, mountains in the central Philippines uh, down the slopes um, and up on the ridges so uh, isn't that wonderful the thought of that so anyway I thought I'd tell you now the name that the uh, Philippine people give to her is gabbling tiger now it's either gabbling or Gabling. I think it's gabling actually. Sounds posh, doesn't it? Isn't that wonderful? But they do that because of the stripes along her stems. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. She's wobbling about in here. But, um, you know, I've often thought of buying her. So I've bought one or two plants this year that I've wanted and not bought and treated myself. So I've got her and she's really lovely. So I thought I'd just let you see her. I keep her, like I keep all my alocasias, in the kitchen because they need the moisture. Um, they're not, you know, as bad as um, calatheas uh, for needing plenty of moisture, but uh, they do need it. So, you know, that's where I keep mine. The next one is Jacqueline. Alocasia Jacqueline. This is my alocasia Jacqueline. She's very small at the moment, but believe me, they grow big. I mean big. The leaves are quite ginormous. So she's absolutely gorgeous. She's a baby. And she comes from Indonesia, from the Sulawesi Islands of Indonesia. And she has another name. And I'm going to have to say this slowly. Tandarusa. I think I've said it right. I've got a note of it here because it's so difficult. Tandarusa. Yes. And isn't she lovely? She's quite beautiful. And she is a natural mutation of Porte. Alocasia or Alocasia porte. They believe that this plant called Alocasia porte was the first and that it developed into what we know as Jacqueline. Anyway, um, this is a very small one, but this plant grows very quick. This one is a recent purchase. I haven't had more than about a month, I think. I don't think it's more than a month. And she only had three leaves and she was down here. Can you see? She's grown up there and she now has three more leaves. Three more baby leaves. In a month, five weeks, really fast. So um, she's going to get very big. So I'm a bit worried about how big she's going to get and where I'm going to put her. She is also in the kitchen. Jacqueline is a species 
I thought I'd better just tell you. I almost forgot. She's also a species. So she is, well, she would have been rare. I'm not sure if she's still rare right now, but she's quite special. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Now, the next one is my black velvet. Now, if you remember, if you've watched any of my videos before, we had had a fire. Some of my plants did perish. One of them was my black velvet, who was quite sort of sizable. Not too big, but she was getting there. Anyway, I've had to replace her. And she is a species as well. And this is my new baby. As you can see, she is just absolutely beautiful. Her name is also Reginula, which is very difficult to pronounce. They all are to me, I don't know about you, but I find it very difficult to pronounce these, these words and to even to remember them. Um, she is from Malaysia, from the state of Sabah, and she only grows on a deeply shaded limestone cliff in the Saber state. She doesn't grow anywhere else as far as I know in the world. Now if that's the so that's quite amazing and she is a species obviously and isn't she beautiful and apparently you can get a variegated which would be lovely to have. I don't know if I'm ever going to get able to get one or find one but you can get them. Isn't that lovely? Right, the next one is Amazonica Polly. Now, Amazonica Polly, isn't she beautiful? Haven't you seen her around? She's just gorgeous. Do you know these leaves? They grow mighty enormous. Do you know that? I mean, humongous, not mighty enormous. I mean, whatever expression you want to use. They are big. I, I don't think I've seen any leaves bi as big. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I won't be able to get in the house one day if she carries on. But anyway, she is not a species. She is a hybrid. She was hybridized by a man in Florida called Salvadori Moreau. I hope I pronounced it correctly. He had a nursery called Amazon. And when he created this wonderful little creature, um, he called her after his nursery, Amazonica. Isn't that beautiful? Now, her parents were species. Um, uh, one parent was called Sandarina. That was a species, and that was from the Philippines in an island called Mindanoa. I hope I've pronounced that right. Island. She's from the island in the Philippines. That is the parent. She was created in Florida. It is said some in some places that she she wasn't. She she, is, she was wild, but she she isn't. She was created, and her other parent, Longi Loba, which is quite a mouthful. And that parent was from Southeast Asia. <laughs> These names drive me mad. Southeast Asia rainforests. And she was from the rainforest. And isn't it wonderful? Um, and you, you put they put these two together, who were species, and we have this wonderful plant. I mean, she has she has a real story, doesn't she? That this man created her in Florida in a nursery. I just, you know, I just think it's lovely. And um they, they loved the rainforests and they were um, seen by uh, rivers, I know that much. I remember reading that. So I thought you'd like to know because, you know, you see these lovely plants and then you see them again and then you see them again. You sort of take it for granted, but they, they have histories. They have wonderful places that they come from. Tropical and rainforest is just wonderful. So that's that one. The next one is this one. This is Alocasia California. It was called 
Odora, California at one time, but that's that's not its name. Its original name is Alocasia Gargina. I think I've pronounced it correctly, um, but then renamed California. So this one is a beautiful plant. She will grow maybe a little bit bigger than she is now. I don't expect her to have many more leaves. They tend to have three leaves or so, and then they lose a leaf and replace one very quickly. They come from um, China and Thailand, and they come from uh, forests. And also uh, Myanmar um, have um, beautiful forests, the Kachin Hills, they call them, and it's heavily forested and uh, these darlings grow there. She is a species and because they're fairly small compared to some of the plants and trees, um, they live in the uh, mottled light. So hence again, they get bright light but it's mottled uh, and heavily filtered. And I've had her for a little while. She's absolutely lovely. She's really beautiful, beautiful plant. She's got glossy leaves. I haven't shined them up recently, but you can see that they they shimmer. And the leaves, they, they go, they're sort of like little edges all the way around, fluted edges all the way around. I think they're beautiful. And a kind of point right here. So um, there's a big gap at the back here. I'll put my hands right through. So I think that they get a little bit bigger, but that's about it. And um, that's this one, Aleph. Alocasia California. And the next one, which I think is one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one is a uh, dragon scale, Alocasia dragon scale, which some of you probably already got. This one is uh, quite beautiful. She's now growing a really sizable leaf for such a little plant. Um, she's also got a couple of babies back here. Now her real name is Baginda and she has, she is a species and from her species they cultivated some different shades. There is a green there is a silver and then there is the dragon scale. She's lovely, isn't she? Quite beautiful. So um, she's going to be interesting and she's quite glossy. She's got a lovely sheen to the leaf. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. She grows in a tropical rainforest in um, Borneo. Um, in Kalimantan, which is part of the island of Borneo. I think that's correct. So she's lovely. And she's my sixth one. She may have been the first one I bought actually, but you know. Okay. And the next one. Um, this one is Regal Shield. And she is quite beautiful, isn't she? She is a hybrid. Um, a lady called Lari Ann Garner. She had a nursery and she decided that she was going to try two species and put them together. One was Odora, which is a similar plant to this one, but very much bigger very big and she put that one which is from um, China, Taiwan, um, Japan, um, from warm humid forests um, and it grows really big the odora and she put that one with wait for it black just look at that. Now black velvet can get fairly sized plant herself um, and she is absolutely beautiful isn't she? She's absolutely beautiful. She's got velvety leaves, she's very dark and they put the two 
I'm showing you this one because she's similar to Adora. Together. Uh, now, Adora is very big. This one doesn't grow that big. She put them together and created this one. Just look at that. So two species and created the hybrid. Can you see a similarity? And the lady thought that the leaves looked like shields. So she called it regal shield. Quite beautiful. And um, this can mean that she's going to be fairly big as well, but she won't be as big as Adora because Black velvet wasn't that big, so it sort of changes the size a little bit, doesn't it? So I'm not really sure how big she's going to get. But if I do an in-depth um, video, which I'm thinking of doing, on some of the alocasias, then I'll think about finding out all these different bits of information that we can talk about. Now, the fact that they called her Regal Shield, Regal, you know, it, it means royalty, doesn't it? Regal, that sort of thing. Um, and this one is called Reginula. And if you think of Regina, that means queen. So it's almost as if maybe, maybe that's a word for queen as well. And so you've got regal. And I think that sort of flows through really, the idea of royalty, because she wanted it to be seen and noticed, and so she gave it that name. I, I presume that's what she did. Isn't it lovely? Really beautiful to think that those, something similar to this one with something like that created that. <laughs> and I've got them here on, on the tables with me. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Anyway, so I thought I'd uh, show you that one. And then we're coming up to my last one. See you in a minute. And the last one of my collection so far, I'm sure I'll have a few more, um, is Frydeck. And this is Frydeck. And um, I mean, some of you know Frydeck and some of you don't know Frydeck. <laughs> Frydeck can get quite big as well. She can get really long, long, beautiful leaves, really quite big. Um, this one is um, variegated. She's quite beautiful. There's various types of variegation. Mine has um, yellow and green. She has white and green. Um, she has different shades of green. She has um, green and silver and white. So I, can, I don't know if you can see that one silver, white and green, all in the same leaf. I mean, she's quite quite amazing, really, these different colours, they're lovely. Um, she, her original name was Michelitziana, which is quite a mouthful, beautiful, beautiful word. Um, and she was discovered by a man called Mr. Michelists. <laughs> and so he called her Michelitziana. And um, after a few years, uh, she was given to um, a company or, or whoever, uh, Sanders and Co. And they had a gentleman there called Henry Frederick Sanders. And Henry Frederick renamed her Friday, as far as I know. I could have that slightly wrong, but it seems logical when you think about the names. She comes, she comes from the island of Luzon in the Philippines. And um, they have lovely humid forests, and I, I presume that that's what she, she lives in. But these different colours were cultivated. I think that's the right expression. There is white and green, there is silver, um, and I think, I think there's a yellow. But when I look at her, the one that I have, I mean, even this leaf is very dark. It has silver and it has white. So, but isn't she beautiful? I mean, she's so 
unusual. So anyway, I thought I'd love to show you all my beauties um, and um, give you a little bit of, of background for the different plants because it's nice to show you, but it's also nice to hear, isn't it? I mean, it can be so mystical and, and romantic when you hear where they've come from, how they've been developed, if they've been put together with other plants, such as, you know, this one and this one. And they're just lovely. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of knowledge um, and joy from these lovely, lovely plants that we can enjoy. I mean, I hope my kitchen holds up to what the forests <laughs> do. <laughs> My, my kitchen is now having to replace the forests with the humidity and this sort of thing. I wonder sometimes just, um, you know, if I can keep it going. But anyway, aren't they lovely? So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, there'll be other videos coming up soon. I'm hoping to have some more in-depth ones on each one. Size, um, you know, development, all this sort of thing. And put it all together for you. So we'll see what I come up with. It's really lovely to hear these backgrounds of these plants that we buy in the shops. It's so lovely. So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and please subscribe, and I'll see you again. Bye.